Hi friends. Here in Guelph today we are raising the flag on and occupying the lands of the Haudenosaunee, Anishinaabe, the Sasagas of the Credit, First Nations, and Arawandron people. Those of us who have benefited from the colonization of the First Nation peoples and their land will be working towards reconciliation and reparations by uplifting the voices and movements of the original peoples of this land. In late May, a mass grave of 215 Indigenous children was found at a residential school, murdered by the so-called Canadian government and the residential school system. The residential school system is not a far off part of our history. The last school only closed 25 years ago. We are settlers on the stolen land occupied by the so-called Canadian government, and the Indigenous peoples here continue to be harmed and silenced. There are communities in Ontario with still no access to clean drinking water, medical services, and reparations for the atrocities committed toward them. Please join me in taking a moment of silence to reflect on this. Thank you. If you would like to learn more about how to better support the Indigenous peoples in the area, we will be hosting two workshops with Chico, the first of which will be a Two-Spirit History workshop on Monday, June 7th, followed by Two-Spirit in 2021 on Tuesday, June 8th. We encourage all of you to attend. Thank you for joining us for our flag raising today. Feel free to join in at home by raising your own flag or decorating, and if you share what you do on social media, you'll be entered to win a Spiral Stitchworks face mask. Spring Pride 2021 has begun with lots of virtual events coming up for Guelph in the surrounding areas. On June 12th, we have a coloring page exhibit featuring our Guelph Pride coloring pages. You can get yours on our website and print it at home or request for it to be delivered. Delivery requests are due by June 7th. There's also a crafting workshop on June 5th, hosted by Bella and more importantly, me. We'll be making be paper beads and stickers. Also on the 5th is Fifty Shades of Rainbow, a musical with Clitoria. On Sunday, June 6th, we have Arches, Nature and Transition to SLGBTQ plus hiking Riverside Poetry Sessions, followed by our big music event, featuring local queer musicians. Next, we have Chico's workshops I mentioned earlier. On June 7th, we have Two-Spirit History, and on the 8th, we have Two-Spirit in 2021. Then tune in on June 10th for our Beer 101 with Wellington Brewery. On the 11th, we have two BIPOC exclusive events only for Black and Indigenous people of color. First, we have the Creative work Writing Workshop, followed by the BIPOC Poetry and Music event featuring slam poetry, uh, music, spoken word, and many other things performed by and for queer and trans BIPOC folks. You can also enjoy a night with your children that night with bedtime stories with Riley. Finally, on June 12th, we're finishing off with a bang with three events. First, we have the Beer, Cheese, and Nut Pairing with Wellington Brewery. Then we have our paint pours for gender euphoria being offered at two separate times. The first is all ages, the second is 18 plus. And finally, we're finishing off with the Guelph Pride live spoken word poetry later that night. Thank you all so much for joining us today. And don't forget to celebrate your own pride at home with Show Your Pride. 
We encourage everyone to take pictures wearing your best pride outfit, celebrating pride outside, celebrating pride with your loved ones, or anything else you do to show your pride, and share it on social media with the hashtag showyourpride. Keep in mind, anything you share there, we could be reposting. And before we end, I'd just like to take a minute to thank all of our incredible sponsors, without which none of this would be possible. I'd also like to thank my little friend here for being very cooperative. And you, at home, for taking time out of your day to join me here. That's really great. Thank you.